For number 13, we have to um, sketch the curves and then find the area between them. So we will begin with this curve over here. Um, now this is just a parabola that opens downwards and it has been shifted upwards by 12. So if this is a little foreign to you, you should go review the graphic transformations. Um, and I'll just scale it up by a factor of two. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. We'll call this 12. And then kind of just put these on the x-axis. So that's two, just so we can keep track. So the first curve, the vertex is at 12, right? Um, and then we just need to draw it. So we need to find the roots. So we set zero is equal to 12 minus x squared. Um, we bring the x squared to the other side. So x squared is equal to 12. And therefore, x is equal to square root of 12. Um, the square root of 12 is approximately 3.46. So it is um, somewhere somewhere over here. And because the parabola is symmetric, right, it's actually, when we take the square root, we do have, um, we do have the same root on the other side. So it is symmetric with respect to the, um, to the vertex. So our curve looks something like this. And I'll just write this down. This is y is equal to 12 minus x squared. Uh, so once we have this, let's draw the second curve. Let me just erase this stuff. So the second curve is a parabola that opens upwards, but it has been shifted downwards by six. So let's put six here in our y-axis. Um, we'll draw that with a different color. So the vertex is here, and now we just need to find the roots. So we put zero is equal to x squared minus six. I bring the six to the other side, x squared, and then um, when we take the square root of both sides, x is equal to plus or minus square root of six, which is about um, 2.44, I believe. So it'll kind of cross over um, about here. So yeah, this is our curve. Um, y is equal to x squared minus 6. Now these don't really look very parabola-like. looks more like a v, but it will... There, made it a little bit better. We'll have to do for now. So we can see that the area between them um, is this area over here that I'm shading in. And when we take this area, we can see that it is um, the upper function will always be the green function and the lower boundary will always be the blue function. Um, because when we're finding the integral, we're, we're really summing up all these um, rectangles, right? Um, so when we sum up all these areas defined by these rectangles, we do get the full area. So um, each rectangle Let's draw out our representative rectangle. The width is dx for a little um, piece of the x-axis. And then the height is just the, this is the height. It's just the upper function minus the lower function. And um, so the upper function should be 12 minus x squared and then minus x squared minus 6. Um, and now to... To set up our integral, we do need to find the bounds of integration. So the bounds are, of integration are defined by these points over here where the curves intersect. We don't know where these points are, so we do have to set these equations equal to each other to find out. Um, and we do set these equations equal to each other because their uh, y value is the same at this x value. So we have y squared minus 6 is equal to 12 minus x squared. So I'll just bring, oops, and I, that is x squared minus 6. Um, and I'll just bring the x's to one side and the numbers to the other. So I'll bring the x to the left, so that is 2x squared, and then the 6 to the right, which is equal to 18. So x squared is equal to 9, and therefore um, x is equal to plus minus Three. So this first, um, this first point over here, this is 
minus 3, 0, and then the second point over here, this is 3, 0. All right, so we're ready to set up our integral. And let me just erase the rest of the stuff so that we have space to work. So um, we do have a really nice symmetry uh, because we know that parabolas are symmetric. So we, we do have this symmetry over here between the right side and I'll color it in maybe in pink between the right side and then the left side, right? And since we want to actually know this total area, it's the same thing if I were to integrate this from, from minus three to three, or if I were to integrate this from zero to three and then just double it because it is symmetric. So I will do that because it makes my calculations easier. So this is twice the integral from zero to three um, of the upper function minus the lower function. So the upper function is 12 minus x squared, and then minus um, the lower function, which is x squared minus 6, and then all of this times a dx. We can't forget that dx is the width of our rectangles, or else we don't have an area. So now we're just going to um, clean this up a little bit so that it's 2 times the integral from 0 to 3. Um, minus x squared minus x squared that gives us minus 2x squared and then I have 12 minus minus 6 so that gives us plus 18 and all of this times dx so we are ready to integrate by applying our reverse power rule so that it is twice um, minus 2x cubed over 3 plus 18x evaluated from 0 to 3 so now all we have to do is we have to apply our boundaries. We don't need to apply the lower boundary because it'll just give us zero when we plug it in, um, which is the reason that I broke it. I said that it was twice the integral from zero to three. So we are just going to apply the three uh, in the bound. So that is minus two times three cubed divided by three plus 18 times three. And then this would just be... Um, plus zero minus zero. I'll just put that so that we don't forget to apply our lower boundaries. So um, when we when we work this out, we do have, this is twice, um, minus two times 27 divided by nine. So this is um, minus, let's see, that is minus 18, and then plus 18 times three, which is 54. So when we work this out, this gives us minus 18 plus 54, which is 36, times 2 is equal to 72. So 72 is the answer for the area um, beneath, that is between these two curves. And we found this by just um, integrating with respect to x.